Hello, this is Kent C. I'm here to show you how to use Skype Connect uh, SIP profile uh, along with ICX, uh, wait, well, 3CX IPPBX, excuse me. And uh, let me just give you a quick rundown, okay? So you'd want to have a Skype manager account like this, go to features. Uh, like I said, what you don't want to do is actually try to forward it uh, directly using a uh, allocated you know uh, number to a uh, managed account you don't want to do this this uh, I tried this attempt this it didn't work uh, so I'm expiring it as you can see cancel it out you actually want to do this so you want to have it just tied to your Skype connect directly your SIP account so you want to get some credit like I do here have the incoming number okay we'll click into it so actually this is the real number so incoming calls are tied to this DID and this is the Skype number I purchased and by doing this uh, that'll work so when I call that number it should pop up uh, you can see I had IP authentication this is what you want to stick with and this scenario works pretty well just use sip.skype.com just that is your IP and your PBX. You can definitely forward it over your port, of course, and your SIP user ID. And uh, let's go ahead and show you the actual SIP trunk. So here's the actual trunk. Okay, you can see the build there. Very good. We'll come over to my extensions. You can see I have an extension 100 built. It's pretty basic. This is actually where the magic happens right here. So you come here. You're going to build that out. Okay. Here's what the role should look like. See so here's sip.skype.com. Port 5060 for your, uh, basically your inbound and outbound. Here's what you should have for your advanced. Here's what your outbound perimeters should look like. Something close to it. Here's what your inbound needs to look like. Here's where you really need to configure your special rule. So I did two user uh, part, custom field, the actual real DAD, the one that you saw. And of course, build it here, click add. You're going to build it here, click add. It'll be here. All right? So, and then here, like I said, you saw that's what we did. Then the next one. You're just going to quickly throw this kind of a setup, okay, the real DID. You don't need to set other for options, no, there's nothing really added there. Then come here, then you just build your rule. Use that same DID there, make sure that hit apply, okay. The inbound rules will actually create here but it'll show up here too. Either way is fine. Alright, and then let's actually bring up the actual phone. Okay, so I'm going to actually call my cell phone. Alright. Ah, see, you can hear it. I'll accept the call. Okay, very good. Uh, see, quick call, and you heard it. Oh, let me. I'll end it there. <laughs> no, no, sorry, the solar system. So it might crash, and if it does, it's okay. Okay, so you saw the outbound. Let's just do Bria. Bring it up one more time. Gosh, she crashed. Okay, guys, you're going to see it register there one more time. Alright, you're going to see it register. It's actually registering to this. Okay, and now, real quick, since
needs to be registered there. Let's actually call the number. And if you're wondering, let's just take a quick look. And there you go. So you can see it's going right to the Hukiki. I mean, no, sorry, the, the 3CM. So we'll deploy on that. There you go. You can see that. Extension status. So you saw that was working. Very good. Now let's just go ahead and try real quick. Right, and we're going to improve it because it's going to be on that tab. And you see now it's receiving the phone call. And we'll go ahead and end the call there. Okay, and that's how you would use the, uh, the PVX. Okay, and uh, like I said, uh, I noticed there were some issues in this specific thread, so uh, you can find that thread here uh, in this section. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much work, but here's actually me posting. This is actually the IP PBX that whoops, was using in uh, the settings, etc. So if you need more details, you can come here and find the same. But this is the live demo of me actually testing uh, this out and what it took to make this work. What I found that was best. If you want a standalone Skype number inbound and outbound working, uh, very simple with your 3CX IP PBX. This is Kent C. Thank you very much.